finally doing it. We're headed into Micro Center. We're gonna find a project to do today. One of my favorite reasons that we come to uh, Micro Center is the awesome selection of Raspberry Pi and Arduino electronics. All your microcontroller needs and additions. Seriously, an awesome selection. If you haven't been to a micro center in your neighborhood, hit one up, support them for this awesome service that they're doing to the DIY community. All right, leaving micro center. We've got this awesome project from Pyronie, Py Pyronie, I don't know how to say the name, but we got this really awesome pirate radio project, uh, similar to the other radio projects I've tried to do. Uh, this one's got an enclosure though, which is one of the things we were waiting to do. And another thing that's really cool about this project is it comes with the Pymoroni, the name of the company, uh, Pi Hat or Fat Beat Deck which the deck is actually something we've been looking for for the project anyways. So building this will give us a piece of that time machine radio that we've been looking for, which is the deck. This will be perfect. Inside the Pi Moroni box, uh, it says, and this is what it looks like. It says that we have a, uh, let's see what it says here. We've got a Raspberry Pi Zero. So we've got the wireless one with the Pi Moroni Fat Beat DAC, the digital audio converter or uh, um, center, the digital audio recorder. We've got a three watt speaker, the mini HDMI to HDMI adapter. That's awesome. USB micro B to a, a adapter a micro B USB cable, a bunch of other things. So here in the Pirate Radio kit from Pi Moroni, we've got the Raspberry Pi Zero W and a bunch of other cables to hook everything up. With, this is a soldering project, so you'll see me solder tonight, which will be really fun. And then it also has uh, a couple of other things that we're gonna need to provide, but I've already uh, pulled aside some of those things in our workspace. So go ahead and let's uh, open it up here. All right, so when we look in here, it comes in this awesome plastic case for the project, which I love for organization. When you open it up here, first thing we see is that DAC, that fat beak DAC. This will be really fun for us to place on our Raspberry Pi Zero. And then speaking of it, here's the Raspberry Pi Zero W right here. Then we've got the USB adapters right there. This is the uh, mini HDMI to HDMI adapter, so we can hook it up to our monitor. And then we've got the acrylic base pieces that make up some of the case. Here we've got some nylon screws to put everything together, our headers to connect our Raspberry Pi Zero and our Fat Beat DAC, and then our speaker, which we'll be hooking up as well. And then it looks like the rest in here are just the rest of these acrylic pieces for our case. And then I think I see at the bottom here, we've got an awesome series of stickers. Awesome! So kicking off this build, I've got the Pimeroni guide here. I've got some of my pieces that I'm gonna be doing some soldering and I've got my soldering iron heating up. So gonna do a bunch of these pieces and see where we get. Took me a little bit of time and I'm obviously not very uh, experienced in soldering so my joints are a little bit messed up but everything's together so I'm gonna start putting together the case now. So I've got the acrylic pieces here and I'm gonna start putting everything into place now so we see what we get. Put the fat DAC 
uh, fat beat deck on the back here with the nylon screws and put in the speaker and put it in a mono mode. So we've got a single speaker going into the left channel and we've switched the dip switch here to mono. So I'm gonna keep moving on here and putting things together. Next I'm gonna be putting the Raspberry Pi Zero onto our device. So we're gonna keep moving. permissions and moving things around, uh, we're finally installing the Pimeroni application. So quick update here, ended up staying up a little late to finish the project, but I got it done. Ended up using just a little bit of a different process, starting with a clean card, no install of a uh, music box already and got it to work. It's now uh, an AirPlay device in my house. So pretty cool build.